everyone! So today's literature is on the last two books in the Vampire Academy series, books five and six, and I actually don't even have the books to show you because I bought both of them on my iPad, and I don't even like buying books on my iPad, but I was traveling when I bought the fifth book, so I kind of just bought it out of convenience on my iPad and then the sixth book I actually finished the fifth book and wanted the sixth book that night I wanted to read it right away and I knew I wasn't gonna have time to go to the bookstore for a couple of days so I just bought the sixth book on here as well but I actually as convenient as the iPad is and is nice that it's that you can buy books immediately on it I don't like reading as much on my iPad as I do an actual book. I just, I think I find it more relaxing because it's easier on your eyes, you're not looking at a screen, and I like to read in the bath a lot, and I've gotten really good at taking paperback books and not getting them wet, but for some reason my iPad always gets wet. I think maybe because it's bigger. Anyway, so the point is I bought both of these on my iPad so I don't have them to show you guys, but I just wanted to do a quick literature since they're the last two books of the series and I know a lot of you guys have been curious and following the series along with me so I did do a literature on the first Vampire Academy book and I also did one on the second, third, and fourth all in one video because I read those really really quickly together because I got like really into it. I really like this series. And these two I also read so quickly that the storylines actually have completely blurred together for me. So I might get confused on what happened in each book, but the titles were Spirit Bound was the fifth book, I believe, and let's see. And The Last Sacrifice, I believe, was the sixth book. I really enjoyed this entire series. I got really into it during the third book, and I just got sucked into it and wanted to read the entire series really quickly. There might be some spoilers for the series for the rest of this video, but I just want to say before I get into spoilers that overall I really enjoyed this series and I would really recommend it if you like the House of Night series, if you like vampire kind of novels, teenage novels, I think you would really enjoy it and I really enjoyed it and I wish there were more books to read because I read all six of them and now I need to wait for the next House of Night book to come out. And I want to read the next spinoff series. That's a Vampire Academy spinoff that's coming out or something. I need to go pick that up. But, okay, so Spirit Bound was book five. And like I said, I might be blurring these, but Spirit Bound, the main thing that stuck out to me, Dimitri got saved. He got brought back by Lissa. Some amazing miracle that no one knew was possible, even though I have to say I kind of saw it coming. Because I thought with the book before, where it has the whole storyline between Rose and Dimitri, which by the way, that book was amazing. The book where she's in Russia and they're kind of having their thing. That book was like that storyline where she was really fighting between turning into a Strigori or whatever those are called. Um, or staying human and she was kind of falling for him and stuff. I talk about it in my last literature. That was my favorite part of the series. I just thought the author did a really good job making you feel the conflicting emotions with Rose and that whole Beauty and the Beast thing that they had going on. So I loved that and when Dimitri got brought back I thought to myself he and Rose are going to be madly in love and that's how the story is going to end and when he kind of shunned her, I was really upset with him. Like, I felt like going up to him and like smacking him on the back of the head and being like, what is your problem? This is the girl that like has been there for you from the beginning. She came to Russia to find you, to stake you because you told her that's what she wanted. Like, she's done everything right for him and he was just gonna... And, and the fact that he was all like into Lissa for a while, that that just, I was so mad at him for a little while. I was like, why are you doing this? But then if you read through to the end of the series, you see that they get together and everything ends well. I like the way the series ended, but I wasn't ready for it to end. So I was kind of, it was like that bittersweet. It was a happy ending, but I wasn't ready for it to end. And in the sixth book, I didn't like that Lissa and Rose were separated for pretty much the entire book. I did like that Rose and Dimitri were together. Like that was definitely like it should have been in the story. But I think that Lissa had her whole thing going on with her running for queen and everything and I like that she got it in the end because I I wasn't sure. I didn't know if she was going to get it. I also feel like the triangle between Rose and Adrian and Dimitri. I don't know if the author did a good enough job showing her having emotions for both guys because to me it was so obvious that she needed to be with Dimitri that it wasn't even a question. I had no idea why she was with Adrian. Adrian was wrong for her I thought. I just didn't get it. So I think Maybe, because a lot of people have tweeted me and they're like, are you team Dimitri or team Adrian? I like Adrian. So obviously there are people out there that 
liked Adrian for her and I think Adrian sounds like a really fun person for any girl to like date but he just wasn't ready for her he wasn't the right person for her is what I'm trying to say I feel like my brain is just going everywhere trying to talk about this book series because I really like it but overall like I said I love this series I love the way it ended I thought that the last two books definitely didn't disappoint. I've now completed the series so some of my other books can get some love because I kind of put everything on the back burner for this series. I couldn't read anything but this because I got so into it but I recommend it if you guys are into this kind of book and leave your comments below with your feedback on the story and what you think about Adrian and Dimitri and what you thought about Dimitri when he came back and kind of shunned Rose for Lissa because that made me so mad and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!